the remarkable bug that's hunting me kills around 50,000 people a year. And this mini monster isn't going to pass up the opportunity for a free Dr. Mike meal. This is a kissing bug. And you can see it's tracking me down. It gets its name kissing bug because it will track down CO2 all the way to my mouth. And it's around the face of human beings that it's notorious for feeding. The bug itself isn't what you have to worry about, it's what it carries. Because this beautiful kissing bug can give you Chagas disease, which is a major killer in South America. And in fact, as I can see it's on my nose, one of the indications that you've been bitten by one of these critters is the Romano mark, which is a swollen eyelid or area around the eye. I need to, there, I need to catch the bug so that I can show it you, but uh, I had to use the camera lens as a mirror then because although it's very big, it's almost impossible to know that it's there and that's what makes these bugs so dangerous. It's not the bite that spreads the illness. As the kissing bug feeds, the blood goes through its guts and comes out the other end. And in its poo is a single-celled parasite. As you itch the bite, you actually work the parasite into the injury caused by the bite. And that's the way it gets into your bloodstream and into the rest of your body. Chagas disease attacks the nervous system. It can stop signals getting to your guts to tell it to process food, which then backs up and you die from blood poisoning. Or it confuses signals to your heart, which can stop it beating. Around 20 million people are infected with Chagas disease. Up to 25% of the population of Latin America are at risk. And it isn't just a problem in Mexico and further south. Up to 100,000 cases have occurred from Dallas to Detroit. And the irony is, although it's a real killer, very few people have heard of it. This one's had its mouth parts in this mammal for plenty long enough. So I think I'm going to release it back into the wild. There. Because these kissing killers are more active after dark, word from the locals is to cover up if you're camping and even use a mosquito net indoors at night. And since you won't feel them bite, don't forget insect repellent before you go to bed.